family are back at it again with more Metal Reacts. And today we are looking at more Bring Me the Horizon. This is a song. How old is this? Two years ago it says it came out. The song Teardrops. I have not heard this. I'm not familiar with the song or the video. But I am familiar with Bring Me the Horizon. I freaking love them. And in some of our more recent reacts, we've kind of delved into a good, like, a good mix of heavy hardcore in your face rock music and then we've had the like deep emotional raw rock music so i'm kind of curious to see which direction this song's going to go because i i don't know but this song has been requested by a bunch of you so i figured we get around to it i do have a couple more bring me the rise and songs up on my agenda but if there is anything you particularly want to see like right now let me know in those comments down below. As always, make sure to give this a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And let's get into it, fam. Also, what's with YouTube videos doing this square format again? What year are we in, fam? All right, Ollie, what you got for me? Ooh, okay. Hold on. First off, let me turn this up a little bit. I'm, I feel like we're about to hit her. I'm going to need to redo that part again. Cause... Whoa, that was creepy. I liked it. I know we're at the course. I'm going to redo it. But, like, nothing makes me sadder than my, like... Hold on, let me read part, do that part. Everything is going dark, nothing makes me sad as a man. Like, that's so accurate and just, like, it's such a simple phrase, but it means so much. Because, like, especially someone that, like, suffers with, like, extreme anxiety and depression, like... You get in your head so much sometimes, and even over the silliest, smallest little things, and you get the best of yourself. And sometimes you're just like, why do I do this? Why do I do this to myself? When I know that when I overthink things and I overstress and I, I, I deflect badly on myself, that I do this. So it's like... A lot of self Damn, Ollie, we getting deep a minute into this song. Okay, fam. Damn. I'm running out of teardrops. Let it hurt till it stops. I can't keep my grip from slipping away from me. Oh, God. Everything is so far. But I can't feel the same. The emptiness is heavier than you think. I'm tripping. Resident Evil was bad. Dude, just like. Hold on, I just want to look at this picture for a second. Because he's literally surrounding himself with, like, so many different vices that people use that are in these, like, you know, in these state of minds of, like, fighting with themselves. 
And it's just like, here's all of these. It's kind of a heavy image right there. Like, it's a physical image, but then the imagery of, like, all that that envisions. That's heavy. Okay, okay. Damn. It's getting a little too real right now. Oh, whoa! Whoa! I was nice. I like that. I can't keep my grip on slipping away from me. Oh God, everything is so false, but I can't feel a thing. The emptiness is heavier than you think. That's the mood. It's just so deep and that it's like, I don't know, the way when I hear teardrops and how he's like saying it, it kind of almost makes me think of like, sometimes you get to a point where you just, you have no tears to give. You have no fucks to give. Let's be honest. Like you just get to that point where you're done with everything. And he's even saying like the emptiness, like is, you know, you fear when there's emptiness because when you get to your breaking point, is when, like, let's be honest, that's when shit gets scary sometimes. So this is, like, really some serious, deep inflection, like, uh, like looking in to your demons and to the things that you deal with. And, like, how are you going to come out of that? Which is, like, a wild thought sometimes. But... Just do a little bit of, like, deep thinking myself with this. But honestly, as I've said in the past, that is what I love about rock music, metal music, is that it makes you look inside yourself and it makes you really think about these songs. Like, there's so much more to it than just heavy, loud music in your face, like, screaming, etc. It really makes you kind of self-reflect and think about you as a person and your purpose in this world and like what you know you mean to others and what others mean to you and I love that a song can get you to think such deep thoughts that you might not have otherwise thought about or might not have wanted to face especially with heavy stuff such as this and Bring Me the Horizon definitely draws on a lot of heavy topics that people like to shy away from. We've also seen it a lot with Falling in Reverse lately with the songs I've been reacting from them. And even so with Papa Roach, who we've reacted to recently too. So it just, I love that element of this music. And there's a reason why this genre of music is my all-time favorite. But without being too biased, I do want to know what you guys think about this video, this song, this band. If you are new to Bring Me the Horizon by any chance, I love to hear your comments and your opinions down below, as well as your suggestions for future songs that you want me to react to, or just anything in general that you would love to see me check out. I put up new videos here every single day at 4 p.m., so make sure to stop by tomorrow if you liked what you see. Also, if you want to have more of these open discussions with me, I do stream over on Twitch Monday through Thursday at 9 p.m., so you can come through, we can chat live, we can talk music, we can talk games, we can talk life, we can get real deep, or we can have lots of fun laughs. I would love to see you guys there, though. And as always, thank you so much for chilling with me for this video, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. But until then, fam, bye-bye. Also, be kind to yourself. <laughs>